Good evening, y'all. I'm gonna talk about our legislative agenda point number one, which is a 5% salary increase across the board for year zero to year 28, because we're also asking for the state to increase the step levels all the way up to year 28. It's currently the state salary schedule stops at year 23. Um, the reason that we are sticking to the 5% across the board um, is that we feel that last year uh, new teachers really got um, benefited from the increase of the starting salary to 35,000, but it's sort of because of the 4% for the rest of the teachers, um, we really felt like the 5% across the board needed to really benefit the veteran teachers who have been um, keeping education together for the last 10 years in terms of mentoring um, a veteran teacher is so valuable to a school in the, the knowledge base that he or she possesses as well as the mentoring capabilities to help um, younger teachers um, hang in there and, and stay in the profession. Um, the Moving the salary steps was really important to us because when you start getting to year 28, which is the, the, the first point that teachers are capable of retiring unless you're now under the rule of 90, um, but the state salary schedule stops at year 23. Retirement uh, income is uh, decided by looking at the top three years of earnings. And so to sit there and say that a teacher at year 28 um, should get the same pay as a teacher at year 23 and then looking into retirement um, it is really not a, a good thing to do. The other piece of that is while local districts um, offer supplements to year 28 and even above. Um, that really tends to hurt the uh, other districts that are unable to do that financially. And so if a teacher knows that they can make $10,000, $15,000 more in a neighboring district, those that last three years and beyond of working, you know, you're gonna, those teachers gonna make that choice to, to leave. So it's really vital that we get the salary schedule, um, the steps all the way up to year 28 to when teachers can retire <clears throat> at the state mandated level. Um, we decided to stick with the 5%. Um, there's plenty of money. The state is expecting a $1.8 billion surplus, 900 million of which is reoccurring. The 5% salary across the board would cost 245 million. Um, as well as the salary steps, increasing the salary steps. So that's how much it would cost to fund that legislative agenda item. But more importantly, we recognize that state employees um, need a raise as much, if not more, than teachers do. Teachers were helped significantly last year, um, state employees a little bit less so, and we realized that the state employees are key into creating a positive educational system when you think about um, the support that the public education system receives from DSS, DHEC, Health and Human Services, um, and all of those local agencies, Commerce, to help bring in um, businesses to work in those areas. We really feel that state employees deserve 5% um, as well. And so again, when you're looking at a $900 million reoccurring surplus, um, we really feel that state employees deserve that salary increase as well as the teachers receiving the 5% across the board as well as the salary step. So that's sort of our thinking for legislative agenda item number one, the increase salary 5% um, across the board as well as increase the salary schedule steps. So, um, you know, yay, yay for money.